Hi, it's Ka'ala. Since it's almost Christmas, I thought it would be fun to do a holiday-themed experiment, Christmas milk. This is a great experiment that you can do with supplies you can find at home. You will need shallow bowls or plates, Christmas-themed cookie cutters, these are optional, but I thought it would be festive, a bowl with a few pumps of dish soap, several cotton swabs, food coloring, and whole milk. It's important to get whole milk for this experiment because of the fat content, which I will explain in a little bit. But I thought it would be interesting to see how this reaction would work with different kinds of milk. So I also got non-fat milk and oat milk. First, I labeled all of the bowls with some post-it notes that I had on hand. Each bowl contained different kinds of milk, whole milk, non-fat milk, and oat milk. Then I added two cookie cutters to each bowl and poured enough milk in each bowl so that the bottom was covered. I put about one cup of milk in each bowl just so we could see the reaction continue for a little while. Then I added a few drops of red food coloring to the milk on the outside of the cookie cutters and green food coloring to the milk on the inside of the cookie cutters. Okay, so then I dipped a cotton swab into the dish soap. Then I dipped, not stirred, the soap coated swab into the milk and watched the reaction happen. For each type of milk, I used a separate cotton swab to prevent any kind of contamination that could alter the results of the experiment. So this experiment happens because soap molecules have two ends, one that's attracted to water, called hydrophilic or water-loving, and another called hydrophobic or water-fearing. Once you add the soap, the soap molecules race around and the hydrophobic ends of the soap molecules bond to the fat molecules in the milk. In the process, the food coloring gets swirled around. Eventually, once all of the molecules have bonded, the reaction is complete and the food coloring won't move around anymore. That's why when I tried to dip more soap into the whole milk later on, the colors wouldn't move because the reaction was already complete, compared to the non-fat milk and the oat milk, which has a slower reaction because there are less fat molecules per volume of liquid, so you can add more soap and the color will still move around. Once the reaction is complete, go ahead and stir the milk to create some pretty Christmas patterns. If you want me to go into more detail about the science behind this experiment, leave me a comment below and I might make a follow-up video. And once you're done with the experiment, all of the liquids are safe to be poured down the sink. Please do not drink the milk used in the experiment, as it now contains small amounts of dish soap. Please let me know if you end up doing this experiment at home by either commenting below or tagging me on Instagram or TikTok at Koala Platypus. I would love to see you try this out. Anyway, thank you so much for doing this experiment with me. And speaking of milk, this wouldn't be complete without some Christmas cookies. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the alert to stay up to date on my videos about science, music, and whatever else I do because I do too much. See you next time. Happy holidays!